This is Uncle Don, and he's got a huge problem. See, Uncle Don's jungle owes a lot of bananas to many, many creditors. 37 trillion bananas, to be exact. Now that's bananas. That's over a thousand times more bananas than there are monkeys on the entire globe. Potentially even more bananas than stars in the night sky. This is called the U.S. National Debt. Every year, Uncle Don collects bananas from working monkeys who live and run businesses in the jungle. This is called taxes. The government then spends those bananas to run the jungle, build roads, pay soldiers, provide health care. Okay, maybe not that one, but you get the point. Taxes are meant to be used by the government to build, repair, and improve infrastructure and policies. But here's the problem. Uncle Don always spends more bananas than he collects. And he's not alone. Every administration does it. Every single year. When this happens, the jungle runs something called a deficit, where the jungle simply isn't able to cover its expenses with the taxes it collects from its citizens. So to fill the gap, Uncle Don borrows bananas, promising to pay them back later. But later never seems to arrive. So who lends the U.S. bananas? Some bananas are borrowed from other monkeys in the jungle. Banks, investment funds, even Grandma Monkey's retirement account. These are monkeys who buy something called treasury bonds. Little IOUs from Uncle Don that say, lend me your bananas now, I pay you back later with interest. But that's not all. A big chunk of bananas is also borrowed from foreign jungles. Panda's jungle, pheasant's forest, and European bears are happy to lend bananas because they trust that Uncle Don usually pays them back. In fact, Panda alone used to hold over a trillion bananas in American debt. Why? Because the U.S. was seen as a safe place to park bananas. For now. So when Uncle Don borrows, it's not always from shady monkeys in trench coats. And for a long time, everyone's believed Uncle Don and the U.S. jungle would make good on their promise. But the stack of IOUs? It's getting very, very tall. And very, very fast. But why does the debt keep growing? And why is this a problem? Borrowing bananas can't always be bad, right? Sometimes you need a little help to build something great, like a bridge or a hospital. But borrowing too many bananas for too long comes at a cost, known as interest. See, when Don racks up a huge debt, the monkeys who lend him bananas will charge an interest on the bananas he owes, which increases the longer the debt remains unpaid. So now Uncle Don has to spend billions of bananas every year just to pay interest, not the actual debt. It's like a snowball of debt rolling downhill growing bigger each year as interest piles on. The longer it's left unpaid, the harder it is to stop. But wait, there's more. Remember those IOUs that Uncle Don writes? Some are bought up by the Feds, also known as the Federal Reserve. They're a unique bunch. See, the Feds aren't exactly part of the jungle government, but they're not entirely independent either. And when the Feds buy up these IOUs, it creates new bananas digitally which makes it easier and cheaper for Uncle Don to keep borrowing bananas to keep the jungle running, allegedly. Some monkeys say this helps keep the jungle stable. Others say it just enables the government to continue its unchecked spending. And that's just on home turf. What if international lenders start demanding higher returns or lose trust in Uncle Don's promises? They could stop lending, or worse, ask for all their bananas back at once. And when that happens, let's just say bananas will hit the fan. But how does it affect regular monkeys like you and me? You might think, who cares? I got no bananas anyway. I'm right there with you, my friend, but you should care. Because other than going from a union to a banana republic, jungle debt affects everything. When the debt gets too high, Uncle Don has fewer bananas to spend on maintaining the jungle we live in, like schools, roads, hospitals, and electricity. That means higher taxes, less public spending, or both. It can also make the value of the banana, aka the US dollar, weaker. If lenders